I feel like my musical journey has always been about, I don't know, you kind of just go through different phases and experience different things and um, different kinds of music you experience kind of open, open different doors. Yeah, it was only really when I started playing bass that I, I really became aware of how awesome music was, like just the, you know, the act of doing it as well. That came about because of my brother had a, had a band and they didn't have a bass player at the time, like high school rock band doing, you know, like Nirvana, and Metallica, Pantera and some, you know, like punk stuff like Grinspoon. And I was kind of going into middle school and they sent home this thing, you know, does your kid want to learn an instrument? And I had the options there. He's like, you should play bass. And I didn't even really know what bass was. I was like, is it cool? And he's like, yeah, it's like a guitar, but lower. I'm like, okay, cool. From there, I don't know, I kind of got, I started getting into other kinds of music because I was just obsessed with um, learning stuff. Just basically staying at home and putting on a CD of something that I liked and trying to hear the bass and like learn just like every note that they played and then just play along with the CD over and over until I could like nail it, you know? Lately I've just been on this really intense pet sounds fetish. I'm currently sort of trying to put on a project, recreating that record as a live thing. So the moment I'm just I've been I've been listening to that so much. And I'm really inspired by a lot of things about that. The arranging and kinda how it was put together. To me that's crazy. It's just in incredibly complex, but it's also really, really simple. It's very clean arranging. Everything has its own little spot and it slots in just in just a beautiful way. But it was all kind of put together on on the day, you know what I mean? Like he never wrote anything down. He would just show everybody what their parts were you know, in the studio. So that's that's been a big inspiration for me at the moment. Yeah, I'd love to go more in that direction the more that we go on as a band. Because, you know, when Beach Boys did that record, you know, it's all four track. So it's all being mixed down to so few things, but there's so many musicians in the room and they're all playing and then they record it and that's how the mix sounds and then it's done. You know what I mean? Like it's inc increasingly rare, that sort of process nowadays. And that's something that I think we kind of keep wanting to get closer to, you know, which also requires that you keep improving as a musician to be able to like do, you know, a perfect take and stuff. I feel like I'm really inspired a lot by, I guess, the craft and the artistry that I guess, you know, earlier generations of musicians had, which is the nature of that has really changed now. You know, we definitely exist in a much more digital realm now. and. A lot more things are made sort of bit by bit and there's always the option to to change everything all the time, you know, which is, it's, it's okay, but, you know, there's something, something really attractive to me about uh, that era where basically everyone had to just play it really good and the engineer had to get a really good mix and then you played it and then it was kind of like done, you know, like that doesn't really happen very much anymore. But I like for us to try to do more of that. Yeah. If you like this series and you want to see more, please subscribe to the Being Here YouTube channel. Why are you so good at that? It's just, I hate it's you. just saying words in the right order. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm a professional. Oh, you <laughs>